Hi, Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just Keep Stitching, episode 294. 2 plus 2 plus 45 plus 40 plus 5 plus 160 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10 is 294. Because math. Checker. Checker. I, I lost track, so. Or not. You know, yeah, you don't really have to, to check me. <laughs> it's up to you guys. Not a requirement. Welcome back. Happy to have you back with us. Hello, people. And uh, thank you for allowing us a little extra time after our trip to New Mexico. Yeah. We went to the Southwest. We did. We did. And we had an absolute blast. We sure did. An absolute blast. We sure did. Um, <clears throat> we had not seen my son and daughter-in-law in about three, three and a half years, three we figure. Three, three and a half. half years. Yep. Since before COVID. Right. Since before COVID. Yep. And Which um, is wild. <clears throat> they relocated out there uh, to perhaps uh, position my son um for possibly jobs in the film industry you may or may not know that there are a lot of uh tv series like breaking bad for mm -hmm. instance and movies um true grit uh so forth that are filmed in new mexico yeah and um he actually had a um job interview yeah for a gig while we were there mm -hmm. and he did get the job yeah he did so anyway um, and my daughter-in-law is a medical assistant mm -hmm. in a renal practice out there and they have a, uh, lovely home and, mm -hmm. um, all four of us coexist like we have just seen each other the day yeah. before. Yeah. Um, the girls get along fabulously mm -hmm. and, um, uh, they, uh, are very familiar having been out there for three and a half years with mm -hmm. the area. Yeah. Um, so we did a lot of stuff. The kid's dad and myself and Nate uh, lived in Albuquerque from 84 to 85. Mm -hmm. um, we left two weeks after Nate was born from 15th Air Force in California to Kirtland. My ex-husband was active military JAG. And um, what I think my biggest impression outside, nothing look familiar mm -hmm. after a um, lot's changed 30 something years 30 odd years he'll be 38 in july mm -hmm. so uh 37 years uh it could have been tucson it could have been flagstaff yeah it could have been any of those any places. of those places uh yeah. there were only a couple of little moments where i said i think i've been here before oh yeah but in 37 years a uh, lot's changed yep. and we had a lot of um, references to the fact that, um, you know, places that we remember uh, no longer exist. You know, yep. childhood homes, their grandparents' home, um, and, uh, you know, it kind of kind of hit home and made you think, like, you know, live in the moment because mm. you're never going to go back to yep. what you remember. Yep. Anyway, that's too deep for... Uh, for this trip. We didn't um, tell you to put your boots on. We did not tell you to put your boots no. on. We have our Albuquerque shirts on. We sure New do. Me New Mexico shirts on. Yep. Uh, that we picked up in the airport on the way home. Mm -hmm. We were there from Wednesday to Sunday. Yep. We did a lot of fun stuff. We did. Including going to Santa Fe mm -hmm. and um, eating a lot of good food mm -hmm. and laughing and... Um, Just making we, mems, you yeah, know? Yeah, we went to see Air, which we highly recommend. Mm -hmm. Um the at, the, at the movie theater, the mm -hmm. movie Air, which is about the um, Air Jordans, mm -hmm. and um, just had a blast. And I don't know if you guys know this or not. I didn't know it. Oh, yeah, there are mountains. But there's mountains in she Albuquerque. Didn't she didn't yep. know that. Never been to that <coughs> part of the country before. Never been to in fact, Nevada, when we went Arizona. To, when we went to Stitch West, you were just a ga a gog, a gag. I was not gagging. <laughs> no. You were in awe I of... Was shooketh <laughs> by the mountains the mountains and i just think they're so majestic you know yeah and we get off the airplane in albuquerque and there's a beautiful mountain range yeah and i was like i feel misled 
<laughs> I was, the, where are we? I was not emotionally prepared for right. the beautiful mountains. Yeah, they are uh, absolutely But they're the incredible. Sandia Mountains. Yeah, yeah. And they are called that because when the sun hits them just right, right. Um, Sandia is Spanish for watermelon. Mm -hmm. And when the sun hits the mountains, they look like watermelon slices. Yep. And that is, in fact, true. Yep. We took the tram up. I can tell you. To the top of Sandia Peak. Yep. We had dinner at a very fancy restaurant. Very fancy. Called 10-3, which is... Uh, 10,300 uh, feet above sea level. No, not above sea level, I don't think. Yes. Isn't it above city level? No, sea level. Oh, sea level. Yes. Yes. Uh, that makes sense. Why would we be in a tram going 10,000 feet higher? I mean, you said it, I did. <laughs> I have that wrong. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's supposed to Albuquerque level. itself is quite high. I yeah, remember. it's 5,000. Yeah, five. So. Another five. So another five, three, mm -hmm. up the mountain. Yeah. Had Very a wonderful, cool. wonderful meal. Yeah, it was great. And uh, coming back down, uh, we could see the whole uh, city of Albuquerque yeah. uh, spread out and sparkling. And it was cool. It was just a real good trip. Um, yeah. And so all of the, I shared a bunch of pictures and videos and stuff on my Instagram right, account. Right. And I actually have a, a highlight reel saved that's Albuquerque 2023. Yeah. So if you go to my Instagram page, yeah. you can watch it there. Another fun thing that we did on Friday while my son was at his interview Yay. is we went to Stitcher's Garden. We now, did. there are, we think, three at least yeah. LNSs in the United States with that name. Yes. And they are not affiliated in any way. It's no. not a chain. No. <laughs> but the one in Albuquerque is called the Stitcher's Garden. Mm -hmm. And um, that was great. <clears throat> I had called Lori back in December, mm -hmm. and purchased a gift certificate for my daughter-in-law uh, for her birthday. Her mm -hmm. birthday is two days before Steph's. It is. And um, so I had spoken to Lori on the phone. And it was one of those situations where uh, it's a, it, the shop has very limited hours, mm -hmm. um, kind of around the end of the week. And um, you, you just develop a, a picture in your mind of what you think a shop is going to look mm -hmm. like. And what a delight it was. Um, we uh, Nate dropped us off on his way to his job interview, and we probably spent an hour and a half, two hours. Mm -hmm. uh, there was uh, a small group of ladies stitching there. Actually, they weren't stitching as much as they were kidding up um, a, project. Uh, a project for a retreat they're going to have very mm -hmm. soon. And um, we, we were to told there were about... Project. Yeah, we got to see a project. Actually, really cool. they were putting the threads on the little... Thread cards. Yeah, it was I, cute. Did you see the project? I sure did. Oh, she I, showed it I to missed me. it. But our she friend really Pearl Linda was there. She lives in Albuquerque and she's been yes. to StitchCon. She's yeah. coming back. Yeah. And uh, she's so fun. And her. it was a great shop. If you are anywhere near uh, Albuquerque, Albuquerque, hey. Albuquerque uh, go to the Stitcher's Garden, call them and, and look it up what their hours are. Yeah. But um, we were and there on a Friday. We obviously have haul from them that we'll show in our haul portion. And I did do a shop tour yep. video, which I will, of course, include in this video so you can see how pretty it is. Lovely models. Yes. Um, Lori led me to believe maybe she might have done all the model wow. stitching. Okay. Because I said, how many model stitches do you have? Because that's what sells a chart for me, is to see it <coughs> stitch, yeah, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. And there were several things that I probably would not buy mm -hmm. based on the chart itself. Sure. But because of the way it was finished on the wall... Um, I bought the chart, and I'll uh, relay that. And I don't know if Steph will be able to right. maybe insert some pictures of the model that was the reason why I bought the chart. Sure, yeah, if they're on the camera roll, I can do that. Yeah, then right there. See what you can do. But um, yeah. uh, it was a great trip, yeah. and um, we had a ball. And um, <clears throat> like I said, um, he's excited about this new gig, mm -hmm. and... Um, when he's not doing that, he drives for Lyft, and he is busy from the time he drops Katie off at work mm -hmm. until he picks her up all yeah. day. He said minimum uh, inside 10 minutes between riders. Wow. Um, one time he had to take somebody from Albuquerque to false, uh, Flagstaff. Flagstaff. I almost said Falstaff. Yeah. Flagstaff. Um, 
And so, Which, uh, for those of you who don't know, is in Arizona, right? Right, not right. New Mexico, <laughs> in the neighboring state. Yeah, and he um, has frequently had writers that go to Santa Fe, mm -hmm. and so forth. So, anyway, they're great. Uh, we had a great time, yeah. and now we're back. Yes. Um, okay, so let's talk old business real quick. Okay, um, most of the old business has to do with not that. Um, this is the first thing. Uh, yeah, um, we did. I get the emails, and so I got an email recently from someone who wanted an explanation. They're new to stitching and new to floss tube. What is stitch mania? Because a lot of floss tubers um, do do stitch mania along with a lot of other activities, of course. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't sure um, what it was. Right. So, real briefly. Um, there used to be, I, I believe, it was the largest cross-stitch Facebook group mm -hmm. um, called Stitch Mania. And Mania was spelled M-A-Y-N-I-A, -N -I -A, uh, yep. okay? Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know that maybe at the, in the early days of that Facebook group, uh, they came up with the idea that, um, and I believe it started, I believe, around... 2015. Okay. Okay. And so the idea around Stitch Mania was in May mm -hmm. of that year, mm -hmm. you would have 15 starts because 2015. Right. Okay. So then the next year, you would have 16 new starts. Because 2016. And a lot of people got into it. It was a very big mm -hmm. deal. All right. Yeah. Fast forward to when we started our channel. In 2017. In 2017. We did not do Stitch Mania that year. We did not do Stitch Mania, but the next year, in 2018, Steph and I did the traditional Stitch Mania and did 18 new stars. We sure did. In and May it was of that fantastic. Year. And it was a blast. Okay. So good. So, fast forward to present day. Mm -hmm. The Facebook group has disbanded. It mm -hmm. was a lot of work. Yes. Yeah, for the two admins. It was a ton of work. And, um... So they closed it down. They archived the group. Mm -hmm. and um, But a lot of cross-stitchers still do Stitch Mania. Mm -hmm. Just like they do, and this woman remembered, a lot of people did March Madness. Mm -hmm. Like a basketball bracket kind yeah. of thing. Last month. Yeah, and that March Madness is hosted, put on by Jen Lee of Quirks and Stitches. Right, yeah. right. They're so, two different things. So March Madness and yeah. Stitch Mania are two different things. Okay. Right. So um, so anyway, for anyone who's new to stitching or new to floss tube, we're approaching May if this is something. And truthfully, as as the days of the Facebook group were waning, by that point, and I can't remember when they finally called it quits, no a lot of people were doing their own mania. In other yeah. words, they might do so many uh, new starts, or they might do that many whips. Yeah. Or they might work on something monogamously for 23 days, mm -hmm. say, for Let's example. See how far they can get. So I think that's clear. Yeah. Um, and it is something that people have continued to do mm -hmm. as an incentive. Yeah to work on a, your stitching project. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that takes care of answering that question. Okay. Um, and then now is usually when we would do <laughs> our hashtag, which is hashtag Stitch Harmony. Right. So, um, however, we did not get any new Stitch Harmony comments. Unless I missed it, and tell me if I did, but I did not see any new Stitch Harmony in last video. Okay, so... Um, so let's explain. Let me explain real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. What Stitch Harmony is. So St Stitch Harmony is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So if you live somewhere and you do not have a stitching friend that is local to you, then and you need some help finding a stitching friend, never be afraid to ask for help, and we will help you. Okay. So we will pick a comment every week. So you just comment on our video, tell us your name, where you live. We pick one of those comments every week to share with our audience in the following week's episode. And then in hopes that you get responses. Right. So this is sort of a hearkening back to a previous Stitch Harmony. Um, 
two instances. These are two different people, yeah? Yes. Okay, so Pam got a couple emails in regards to Stitch Harmony, and so we just wanted to share those with you. Right. So I got a, uh, an email from a woman named Angie. I'll mm -hmm. say that much. Yep. And she was trying to remember if we had ever um, mentioned someone looking for stitchers around the Austin, Dallas, or Fort Worth area. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, so if you happen to be one of those people or you had submitted a Stitch Harmony comment from that area, personally, I don't remember. But she said that there is a Stitch in Public event for Stitchers at Avoca, A-V-O-C-A, Avoca, maybe Avoca coffee in Fort Worth. Oh, is this past? It's today. Oh, <laughs> well, you may have missed it. Um, but there's a group. But here's a group, and we'll link this Facebook group in the... Um, yeah, in the box. Yeah, it was at Avoca Coffee in Fort Worth, 7 o'clock tonight. tonight. So by the time you see this video, you've missed it. Right. Sorry, Oops. but but I think this is a regular thing. Yeah, so so we're gonna post the Facebook group events link. Yeah, so that you can be alerted to the next one. Yes, it's in the um, it, it's in Fort Worth. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we wanted to get that out there. Get yes. that for the link. Uh huh. And then <clears throat> I got an email from a woman that I do remember. Yeah. Um, doing such harmony. Commenting for. on. Um, way back on two way back two episodes ago, two episodes ago, <laughs> two ninety two. Yeah, and her name was Janie, and I think we kind of went back and forth. We went Janie, sure. Janie, Janie, or Janie. We weren't sure, and we're still not sure. And but, she was in Yakima, Washington, and she was in Yakima, Washington. Remember her? And Remember Yakima? She she tried to respond to some folks in the stream of comments on two ninety two. Yeah, and. She, she said they just disappeared. Yeah. And she wasn't able to make contact. So, um, I looked and I could not find anybody yeah, referencing this to Charmy. Yes. And so I said, we'll try to repeat it. So this is another attempt mm -hmm. to help Jenny in Yakima, Washington, Correct. find some stitching friends. Yes. And I have her contact information. So... Rather than comment mm -hmm. on this video, yeah. send an email to me, mm -hmm. and it's in the description box below, it is. and I can connect you. I have her Instagram handle, and I have her email. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're going to do it that way. Yeah. And Pam's going to play middleman. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play matchmaker. Oh. Matchmaker, mm -hmm. matchmaker, make me a match. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Do you need me to save this for the information? Yes. Please save it. So that's how we're going to handle Stitch Harmony this week. Yeah. Okay. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. That was. Oh. Well, you just let my note fall. Do you hear the crane? See the red face? <laughs> that means Pam bent over. <laughs> Are you ready? Sound effects. Okay, that means it's time for Pam's pin comment, and it's all very exciting, everyone. It's all very exciting, and I think this references what I talked about last video about joining Sal's. Uh huh. And I've since been um, watching a few of my uh, floss off my floss tube list, and mm -hmm. I'm not the only one with this FOMO problem with Sal's. No. Um. And I'll talk about it in a second. I actually have a little chart. <laughs> anyway. Um, so ridiculous. So, <laughs> so this is uh, the Pam's pin comment. And it was pinned to the top of all the comments after last week's video. And I know it's been a while. But anyway. <clears throat> it's still so good. It's still hysterically funny. Mm -hmm. This comes to us from Maria Rose Petal Stitches. Hi, Maria. Hello, Maria. I love this. This was hysterical. Maria. <laughs> this guy 
gotta be a musical Just episode. A girl named Maria. Oh, brother. I okay, love it. there's more coming, by the way. Don't more, worry. More musical interludes. Yes, there are. So this is what Maria said. She said, "Stop the presses. Job advertisement required." Pam of Just Keep Stitching urgently needs a PA. She does. Personal assistant. Because I am busy. Highly yeah. organized, adaptable, and efficient skills essential to this role. So basically me. Desirable skills include a love of stitching. Check. All inquiries please respond to save Pam and help her stay on track for all her sales. So I thought that was very, very cute. And cute. Um, like I said, we appreciate all you guys' comments. What You're, did you do with this comment, Pam? I, I pinned it to the top of all of them after last week's. Good, um, good woman. You know, you're so creative when we give you a magic word for a giveaway and all that kind of junk. Mm -hmm. And, um, not that kind of junk. Not that kind of junk. You know what I'm saying. Drunk um, drunk. okay. We're going to introduce a new segment. Yes. Because, uh, we have. Because we want to, and this is our channel. <laughs> we have intermittently done shout outs mm -hmm. uh to other floss tube channels mm -hmm. and um in my opinion it's been too intermittent ah. so um what i came up with was <clears throat> sort of a takeoff on an old girl scout song that we both remember singing mm -hmm. as young girls um called make new friends mm -hmm. And the lyrics of the song, no, we're not going to sing it. No. The lyrics of the song go, make new friends, but keep the old. Mm -hmm. One is silver and the other gold. And I'm sure that many of you out there remember singing this. Mm -hmm. I think we all stood in a circle holding hands. Or it was something. very right. cute. It was very cute. Okay. So we're going to call this the silver and gold shout outs. Mm -hmm. And we're going to shout out an old friend on Floss Tube. And a new friend on Floss Tube every week. Mm -hmm. So, which one's silver? Which one's gold? Um, like, is the old friend gold or the new friend gold? The old one. Wait a minute. They're shouting at us. I think silver is the old. Okay. Okay. That's what we're going to decide. Okay. The silver. Okay. And the new ones are going to be the gold. Okay. Okay. So. Got it. Um, the new segment is going to have a sound effect. Of course because it is. Because it's just, just keep stitching. stitching. Yep. So. Um, what, what would we be without our sound effects? To that's be fair. right. So. This is going to be our sound effect for our new segment. Silver and gold shout outs. <laughs> I have to play an instrument. She's literally playing a xylophone on her phone. Yep, it's very exciting. Very. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, I'm new to this. Okay, give me a minute. <laughs> okay, it's all fine. We're all fine here. Okay, We're continue. kind of on the fly. With yes, this. yep. So we want to shout out an old floss tube friend. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean old in terms of age. No. And I don't mean new in terms of age. Right. I'm just saying these are folks that we have, uh, some floss tube channels we've watched for years. Mm -hmm. um, they might be floss tubes that we faithfully watch yes they might be floss tubes that are of personal friends of ours that we've met at retreats yeah um the newer ones might be ones that i've discovered or you've discovered mm -hmm. and they might not have a um a, a uh longevity on floss tube mm -hmm. like the older ones yeah but i find them to be um ones that i would recommend yes for various reasons. And yes. we watch different channels for different reasons, right? Mm -hmm. We might want to broaden our horizons. We might want to um, watch someone who does full coverage, even though we don't. Um, we might want to watch somebody from another country. Mm -hmm. um, so there are different personal criteria. Yeah. But I want to regularly um, offer these two categories. Mm -hmm. And um, so I have to. For you today yes um one of the uh best channels around and um uh, i believe that they started shortly after we did mm -hmm. in 2017 mm -hmm. and um the title uh of their channel is lost and floss mm -hmm. 
Now, many of you know that when they first began, it was Barb and Leanne. Mm -hmm. And very, very sadly, Leanne is no longer with us. And Barb has continued with the channel. Yeah. Uh, in fact, if you go back to their first episode, um, they did a parody of Stephanie and I, which was absolutely hysterically funny. Very, very funny. So, very entertaining. I want to throw out Lost in Flaws. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Barb has done a wonderful job continuing the legacy. Mm -hmm. And um, she has some lovely, lovely projects. Mm -hmm. um, recently, I just watched her episode 88. Mm -hmm. And it is all about her projects and her amazing Easter decorations. Mm -hmm. So it's Lost in Floss, it's Barb, and she is a dear, dear friend. And I'll, of course, link the stuff all the below. Links, all the links will be below. So that's our golden. Um, nope, no, that's, that's our, our silver. silver. See, we're new. Yeah. So that's our silver shout out. Uh -huh. Our golden um, shout out mm -hmm. is for a great channel that I recently discovered. So I haven't watched every single episode. But it is called Running with Scissors, mm -hmm. Stitching with Jane and Julie. And they are two uh, close friends. And uh, one of the things that I find fascinating about their channel, aside from their incredibly wonderful humor and personalities mm -hmm. and all of their projects, is that... Um, that come from a part of the country where Hardanger was passed on from generation to generation. And um, that is the upper Midwest. Yeah. And so, um, in fact, um, I believe it's Julie who has taught Hardanger. And anybody who comes from the upper Midwest um, would have maybe learned from their moms or their aunts or their grandmothers. That's very foreign to me and scares the living, you know, what out of me. But I love hearing about it and, and showing it. Yeah. Um, I've often been asked, and I don't mean to say this from a boastful um, or uh, whatever mm -hmm. stance, but I've had people ask me, "What do you know of other channels that are as funny as you guys? <laughs> okay, take that at, sur at surface value. Surface value and I've recommended a few and I would put Jane and Julie in that category they have me smiling and giggling throughout their episodes and their camaraderie and their expertise and their beautiful projects are worth you checking them out cool. so there you go there's two one that's been around for a while and one that's relatively new Jane and Julie just did episode 20 cool. okay so um Check those two channels out awesome. um, and see if they are of your um, taste. Um, all of these gals this week are of more or less my generation. But I know a lot of people that um, are making floss tubes out there that are closer to Steph's age. And, and we'll mix it up. So, yes, um, <clears throat> Because um, I, I truly believe what keeps me thinking young is hanging out with young people. Uh -huh. Truthfully. Truthfully. <laughs> Um, so that's our new segment. There you go. Hope you like it. Very exciting. We'll be back next week with two more. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. Stephanie, what have you been stitching on when you could stitch? Yes. Okay. This week. I'm sad. I'm Why? Because tomorrow's the 15th. What's the matter? I gotta put this away. Oh, did you, did you schedule it that strictly? Well, I'm supposed to do five days on each. But that's a yearly goal, so don't sweat the small stuff, babe. Pam just called me babe. Oh, I'm flush. Okay. No, don't sweat the small stuff. But I really want to work on my other project, too. But I'm really enjoying this one. So if yeah, I could just grow two more arms, that would be yeah. ideal yeah. in the situation. Yeah. So um, I took, like, four projects with me to Albuquerque. And I was stitched on one of them. Because... Yeah. But always be prepared, okay? Yeah. I was a Girl Scout. We've covered this, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyway, so the the my first 
Whipco call of the month of April, um, and it I'm really really enjoying this is Caroline Berger from Star House Stitch Works. Um, I started this in 2020, so um, she is an older whip, you know, but she's really coming together. Um, Do you have some thread hanging off there? It's still... Oh, I you're didn't... still working on it. Well, okay. yeah, it's not finished. So, <laughs> yeah, definitely still working on it. <clears throat> um, but this row goes all the way over. And it's... Oh, that's what you do in the row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. Okay, so I am stitching mine on 32 count. Yes, 32 count. Vintage pecan butter, vintage something, something. I don't know, but it's from like side. Uh, and I'm using all of the called for gentle arts cotton threads. Technically, they're called, it's called for to be done in wool, but I am not interested in stitching in wool, so I'm just using the regular cons. So, this is what it looks like. Zoe. She's so pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. So, I basically finished this alphabet, and then I did this line here, and I'm working on this line here. So, but the lowest row is, what's this? I can't see behind. I'm behind. What yeah. letter is this? Uh, that's the capital V down here. Yeah. R S T U V. Yeah, that's the. V. Oh wow, you are really coming along. Uh huh. Yeah. So there's lines. So this alphabet is done. Okay, but there's a line here which is done. Then there's a line here, which is obviously started, but not done. This row of letters is done. There's a line here. This row of letters is done. There's a line here. This row of letters is done, but there's a line here. And then these big, fancy, fancy English print letters are obviously the ones that take the most amount of time. So that will probably slow me down just a little bit. But um, that's the only alphabet that I have left. I was trying to see what this bottom word is. Is that where she lived? In um, Germany? <clears throat> I think maybe so. Well, I was reading um, the text and I didn't see Yeah, it, but... she was born in 1880 in Necker Westham. Oh, West where time, did you see that? Right here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Necker Westheim, Germany. Yeah. So that that's why I picked it because it's a German sampler. Got it. So. Um, cool. Yeah. So isn't she pretty? So, um, I would like to, ideally, ideally speaking, I would like to get these lines in. in, so then I can say that this top half is, like, totally yeah. done. I mean, this is technically long, more than half, but then her name, so then there's this row, sorry, I don't mean to flip you off, there's this row of letters, and then her name, Caroline Berenger, and then... 18, Necker West Time, 90, and then a row. So, I'm about halfway done. But if I can get I these... I think you're more than half. But. but if I can get these rows in, then I feel like that whole top yeah. half was finished. Yeah. So, um, but aren't the colors just gorgeous? Mm -hmm. I really like this pink color and the bright red. The pink is strawberry parfait. You know it's parfait. It is. I've always called it parfait. Are you serious? No, I'm 100% joking. Of course I know it's strawberry parfait. <laughs> of course I know it's parfait. Bachelor's, yeah, I was in the food industry. Bachelor's degree from the University of Maine. I would hope you'd know that. Parfait! <laughs> no, of course it's parfait. Woo! That was a close one. Yeah, it was. So that's all I've been working on. Okay. Well, that's I it. think you're making great progress. Well, I appreciate that, Pam, because I feel like I am too. Okay. So, now it's time for pants clips. So, pause it, get a drink, go to the bathroom, do what you gotta do, get the mail, feed the dog, mow the grass, plant the bulbs, <gasps> turn the clocks back, because oh my god! by the All time right. she's done, it will be time for fallback. So, <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, um, what I about you, Pam? What have you been doing with your life? I've been stitching a lot. No shiz. I did not hardly, I took one project and hardly made any progress on it, to the extent that I'm not even going to show you this week what that was but my first whip go for april was wizard of oz project again 
Okay, so um, this is move these Wizard of Oz project. Move these magnets just slightly, but I'm not going to take it out of the. Don't take it you, out, Pam. Those of you who know, know this is a humongous project. Don't take it out. And if you don't out. know anything about this project... Um, Where have you been? Well, I, I, know, I don't want to insult people, but you can go back and maybe watch an earlier episode or follow me on Instagram. Yeah. I mean, unless you're a creeper, I accept just about anybody. Unless you're a creepy dude. But, but I, I want to keep my account private. Okay. All right. Anyway. So, I guess... Since we've been back, did I finish this? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. So um, we're up. We're working from bottom to top on this, as most of you know. And this row of Wizard of Oz characters from Brooks Books. Brooks Books. Um, only um, includes the Wicked Witch of the West and the and the Flying Monkey. It sure does. So I did finish after we got back from our trip. I did finish the Wicked Witch. Look at her. There she is. In all of the camera. Okay. Look at her sparkle hat. Oh, look at her shoes. Oh, are they fantastic? Isn't she pretty? No, I did. Isn't she pretty? Here we go again. Um, I did use three strands of 310 for all the black because I'm a coverage nut. Uh huh. So um, I was much happier, and I am subbing. For the um, light effects. For the light effects, which are no. crap to work with. No. Absolutely crap. I am subbing um, uh, Petite Silk Lame Braid. Yes. From Petite Rainbow Treasure Gallery. Braid. Yep. Uh, I don't think Treasure is in this one. Okay, whatever. Um, so um, all the sparkly is that. And you might be wondering, what is she holding in her hand? Uh, just a m mild reminder uh, Brooke based her characters on the books, not the movie. Judy Garland movie. Yeah. And although I did find a little screenshot that I think Margaret Hamilton, who played the Wicked Witch in the movie, is holding what was known as the golden, mm -hmm. the golden cap believe it or not. And in the book from L. Frank Baum, um, the Wicked Witch would put on this golden cap, which kind of looks like a helmet. Yeah, it's called the golden cap. Okay. And that would give her power over the flying monkeys. Mm -hmm. So I think there is a short little scene, very short. If you remember, the head monkey is up in the tower with the Wicked Witch and that, um, what do you call it? That globe or whatever where she could the see. The crystal ball? The crystal ball. The crystal ball. Not she could globe. see Dorothy crying. She could see Annie M. Yeah. And I think that thing. That was not an earthquake. <laughs> that was just me, little Miss Butterfingers. Okay, continue. Um, she is holding this golden cap. I didn't think it was in the movie at all. But you were wrong. But. <laughs> you know, go back and watch, and maybe you'll spy it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then since I finished her, I did start, and I'll show you the chart. This is the flying monkey. Oh, it's... And I love him. They're all individual charts. Oh, I love him. So much. I love him, and one of the things I love about him is these goggles. Yeah, the goggles are 12 out of 10. They're the so good. Goggles. I almost called them aviator glasses, but they're, they're not. not. They are goggles. They're flight goggles. Oh, my God. It's going to be a uh, freaking doorball. So, um, obviously, I'm working up from the um, Yellow Brick Road. What does your needle minder say? The needle minder says, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas oh, anymore. Okay. Someone gave us a set of Wizard of Oz needle they minders. Sure did. And look at his little red jacket. Look at his bellhopper jacket and his the, little yeah, belly. Yeah, that's right, bellhopper. And his so, little belly. So we're looking out, yeah. So he's in a crouching position. I'm obsessed with him. He's ready to take off as soon as she puts her golden cap on. So she has to put that cap on her head? Well, it she's wasn't a, just a fly. She's going to take the big No, she takes the hat off. I don't know. What's I, read I didn't read any of the books, so I don't know. And then she says, fly, fly, fly away. Remember? Is that what she does? That's what she did. Yeah, don't you remember? I don't do you have it? 
memorized? I sure do. If yeah. you haven't got it memorized, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do this. Or yeah, for. <laughs> Too late now. Too late now. I am well away. And if you don't remember, um, the wizard goes center stage on the next row up. Cause and then the at the very was. top, 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 Tippity is, top. Tippity top is the Emerald City from Satsuma Street. It is. So, it's going to be monstrous. Monstrous, I tell you. Monstrous. Okay. So, that's one thing. Okay. Okay. Now, we talked about the Pam's Pin comment and the woman talking about all my cells. Uh -huh. So, just so you know. Yeah. Here's this, a calendar, people. <laughs> just she so you know, I put a little table all. together. And it is a alternating week schedule for my cells. This does not have anything to do with WIPCO or any other prompts or anything it's like It's just that. Pam's insanity. Yeah, just okay. mine. I am owning it. Yes, she is. So Thank I am so basically on, let's call them week A and week B. Okay. Kind of like StitchCon. Uh -huh. So I have a cell assigned to each day of the week, alternating weeks. You still with me? Uh-huh. So this is what my little table looks like. And so, um, what I'm going to show you, now that I've showed you my WIPCO project, I'm going to show you the SAL projects that I've been working on, essentially, since we got home. So, all of these are SALs? All of those are SALs. And I actually have a... I think you should put the hashtags in here. It's just for my reference. So yeah, I but this is helpful for when I do my notes. Well, when you do your notes, I'm not going to be that far away, and I can tell okay, you. Okay, as long as you're not that far away. I know. I'm never that far away. So, one of the cells that I am in with Lori the Flying Cross Stitcher and others, we started, we were supposed to start this at StitchCon last summer. I don't know how many of us actually put a stitch in, but that was the idea. Um, is Seaside Sampler from Rosewood Manor. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can hold it up close, but I want to tell you what. This is not an accurate description depiction. Um, Karen's pictures are are not really true to color. This one in particular. And I no, a lot of them are. I was watching another floss tuber this morning who was doing one of the Quaker. Okay. Uh, like summer Quaker or autumn yeah. Quaker or whatever yeah. from from Rosewood. Uh -huh. And and she said it really confused her because one of the little motifs was not. Um, the color that the symbol represented. Yeah. Now, before I show you how far I am on it, I want to tell you that I'm stitching it on the call for, which is... 32 count sand. 32 count sand. Sand from... Texas Plus. From PTP. Okay. No problem with that. The call for threads are trainway silks. And you're starting to hear more and more about trainway silks. Are you? I am. Okay. But I watch a lot more flustered than you do. This is true. Now, I bought the thread pack mm -hmm. for Seaside Sampler at Galleria from Karen. Yes. In her little shop, shop at Galleria. Yeah. You can see how beautiful and bright these colors are. They're gorgeous. They're not reflected in that picture. And some things that like, look... Like this color? Yeah. Not included. No. I no. mean, it is included. It just doesn't look like this color. It did color. not translate well in the photo. No, it did not. Uh -uh. So I more or less That's have fine. started a, um, did a center start. Let me fold it down. And worked on this yesterday because it's week A and it's, it was Wednesday yesterday. Cool. So I started with... Don't worry, we'll be we'll be right with you. She's losing patience with me. It's okay. Um, this compass, and then this huge fish. Yeah, bird thing. No, it's a fish, Steph. I'm talking about the blue fish. This. Yeah. Yeah. And then last night I worked on this seabird. Mm. It's very artistically drawn. It is. It's like a crane. And then I went down and started this row of seagrass mm -hmm. or seaweed mm -hmm. or something. So um, I am not a big fan of silks. I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, I think that 
silks have a bounce to them. Yes, there's definitely a buoyancy. A to buoyancy them. or a stretchiness to them mm -hmm. that I find um, that I need to control as I stitch. And so um, I move fairly slowly when I'm stitching with silks. Mm. But the effect is beautiful. And as you can see, the colors are extremely bright. They are. Very bright. So. They are. Um, but they're pretty. That was my style for yesterday. Okay. Got it. And there's a Facebook group that Lori has. Yeah, Lori set up a Facebook group. So yes. I think it's Seaside Sampler Sal. Yes, I have a link in the box okay. if you want to join the group. All right. Okay, just moving a few things. Okay. Next. Um, another sale that I'm working on. Um, and I worked on this a little bit since we've been back. Does that jive with my chart? Um, Are you week A or week B? Well, I thought I was week A, but anyway, I worked on it a little bit. We're going to get back on Wait, track. Wait, can we ask a question? What happens in these days? They're open. So you could technically... Add two more cells. No, that's not what I was going to say, Pam. What, are you gonna, what were you going to say? I was going to say you could technically be week B. But then you would have... Yeah. So you did this one on the day we came back. Yeah, I had I had it in my Google Calendar all screwed up. Okay. But this Whatever. chart now is... Whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Back to what I was talking about. Uh-huh. So this is another style I'm in. And I did work on it a little bit just so I had something to show progress-wise. This is from the Blue Flower, and it's called Animal Alphabet. And it is so fun. I'm doing this with... Um, Amy Sprinklestein Stitches on uh, Instagram and FlossTube. And other people have joined in. They bought it as well. And we're on the top okay. row. And there are five letters across the top. And so I am on D. Mm -hmm. And D is for Dragonfly. So I have Armadillo bat, cheetah, <coughs> and dragonfly. Mm -hmm. So She's a beaut. And it's on X-Jude Sampler Green. Mm -hmm. 32 count, I'm pretty sure. Yep, and that is the call for. Which is the call for, which is just a beautiful, beautiful green. Sure is. So that is Animal ABC Sal. Yay. If you would like to join in. Or follow It's not animal thing. alphabet cell, it's animal ABC cell. Yes. Okay. Just want to make sure. Okay. Um, another cell I am in that's been going on for quite some time, and I'm somewhat behind, but I don't care, <coughs> is um, from Jeanette Douglas, and it's called Matter in Hand. And Jeanette released this right before, maybe within a few minutes, uh, months, of the um, Ukraine war and she has the Russian down here and I'm substituting that for the Ukrainian and I'm changing the colors of the spool down here when I get there mm -hmm. to yellow and blue and is there a hashtag for this cell it is the matter in hand cell okay and then are you doing it with anybody there are uh, several people. I can't think of specific okay. names right now. Okay. But I'm doing this on Luminous Fiber Arts. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh, shoot. It's right on the tip of my tongue. Uh, caramel. Salted caramel. Okay. 32 count. And I got all the motifs on the top row mm, down. I love that. And just for fun, I decided to put in the first word which is the French for cross-stitch, point de croix. It involved, this week it involved doing the whole thimble and rounding the corner on the border. I love that tomato so much. Yeah, oh, and I also put in my initials down in the corner of the tomato. Yeah. At first I thought it said 2019, and I was no, like, what the it says heck? PGS, my initials. I, I got it. Yeah. That's um, beautiful, Pam. So that's another cell I'm in. Cool. And then um, one, one of the 16 
um, project that Stephanie kitted up for me for Christmas last year, mm -hmm. meaning I had the chart and she got the the tag was right there. There it is. Uh, <clears throat> she got the threads and the fabric. Was uh, from the Scarlet House Colonial Blooms, and if you remember, April had the boards for sale on Etsy, and so I got the board. Do you remember what her shop name is? I don't, but we can look it up. Uh huh. And um, I think it's homemade. <clears throat> something. Yeah, something like that. Yep. I'm doing this on forty count. Nope, that's nope. 36. 36? Yep. And do you remember the name of it? I sure do. It's Call For. It's the Call For, which is Black Swan it from is. Fox and Rabbit. It is. So 36 count, one over two. Mm -hmm. And yes. so uh, set a start again. Because you need it to be the same size to fit on the board. So that's, right. And we just happen to have this fabric in stock yeah. at Keepsakes. Yeah. And so I bought it. So very small start. It's one of the stalks of the buds coming out of the vase, if yes. you should call. Yes. And it's so gorgeous. That's whoops. Let me put this in. Yeah. So it's gonna look really cool. It's really it's cool. gonna be really cool. But, so that was a new start. Yes. For me. Love it. And um, I am up to fifty whi Ooh, whips. She's up to and 50. I don't intend to go higher than that. Really? So I'm not starting anything new until I finish something of that 50. Um, how are you going to do that? You have starts on those books. Huh? You have starts on the books. Starts on the books. What like you, you have starts, you are scheduled to start later this year. I'll finish something before. Okay. Like, before that date comes up. My next. I mean, I don't give a crap what you do, <laughs> but. My next I have start like 85 date whips, so. Yeah, my next start date is somewhere in May. Uh -huh. I can't remember what it is, uh -huh. and I think I can pull something really small out of my wood pile, <laughs> finish it up, and open up a slot. I'm going to be good. I can't go above 50. Why? I'm not a spring chicken, for one thing. What does it matter? Whatever. I'm not going to have that argument live in front of these people. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save Stay that tuned. for the privacy of our own home. Stay tuned. So, those are our whips of the week. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Promotions. Promotions. Welcome to the Triple P, the promotional portion of the program. Right. Where we talk to you about things we want to promote. Okay. That's right. So, uh, we do have a pattern of the week from the Twins at Twin Peak Primitives. Yep. Um, and is this going to be the pattern of the week? Through. Hmm. I did not That's track. what we've done the last time. Let's have this run until a week from Sunday. Yeah. If that changes, then we'll let you know. If, but if, Yeah. If the twins, you know, because they're releasing a bunch and. Yeah. But we'll let this. We can't just go from Thursday to Sunday. Sunday. That's silly. I mean, truly. So we'll go from Thursday to Sunday to Sunday. Yes. On this. Yeah. So we'll remind everybody on Sunday as well. So right, right. every week we pick a chart from the library of the twins at Twin Peak Primitives uh, for the pattern of the week. Right. And um, we've been doing this with them for years now. And so um, we pick a chart that we love, that we think that you'll love too. And then we tell the girls, they say, okay. And they make it 23% off for all of our amazing viewers. So. This week, the pattern of the week is what, Pamela? Well, we know there's a whole bunch of you out here that love this kind of chart. Okay. So I'm excited to announce. Oh, boy. The title is Adam and Eve. Oh, we love Adam so and Eve. So we know there's a bunch of Adam and Eve stitchers out there. And okay. this is the twins' Adam and Eve. Rendition. That's right. Oh, it's Adam beautiful. And, and we're going to insert a picture here. here. Yay. Yay. So, if you love to stitch a &E, Adam and Eve, and you want to get your hands on a discounted version of the Twin Peak Primitives Adam and Eve, then you need to go to these places, okay? If you want a PDF version of the chart, then you can get your discounted copy from the Twin Peak Primitives website or the Etsy shop, both of which are linked below. 
if you want a hard copy of the chart, the Adamity chart, discounted, then you have to go through the Daily Stitcher, which is an online needle workshop located in Maine. Uh, there's no special code, no special dance, or none of that stuff you have to do. Just It's already discounted, so just add it to your cart and check there out. There you go. Okay. And then um, I did want to make an, a noted addendum from last week. Uh, last week we showed the latest release from Twin Peak Primitives, or TPP, Limited Editions. And when, at the time of recording that video, we did not know that they had moved from Etsy. And so now we know the link has been updated. So TPP Limited Editions is now has its own website. Dot com. So it's very exciting. That's right. So um, I will um, <clears throat> post about that again below just so you have the link so you can yeah. bookmark it for when other things come out. Correct. So um, our apologies for having a, what they call a dead link in the description yeah. box from last week. But it's all fixed now, so. We're all set. Yes. All right. That means it's time for mail call. Okay. Um. Okay. This here, I did not know if that was a gift or if you purchased it. It was a gift. Okay. So why don't you show that? Then? So why don't I show that? Okay. Okay. I got an email, I believe, or an Instagram message from a woman named Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Hello, Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. She, help, help me, Rhonda. She said that she had a couple of kits she thought I might be interested in. Mm -hmm. And if I was, she would be willing to give them to me. And um, I said, I would gladly take the Joan Elliott off your hands. Gladly. And she sent it during a time when we were both really under the weather. And oh. I had put it underneath something else. And then kept forgetting, kept forgetting. And Damn. I've apologized profusely to to poor Rhonda, and I think she was a little bit put out with me. And I, help I'm me, so, Rhonda. I'm, <laughs> help me, Rhonda. Don't be mad. Help, help me, Rhonda. So she did send me this. It's called Dreamcatcher, and it's a kit of a Joan Elliott design. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's just lovely. Joan it Elliott um, did such a variety, and we showed you that book we... Um, Nope, we haven't shown you that book yet. I was going to say, I haven't shown anybody. But. Um, but you know, if you know John Elliott, she did a variety of Pretty Ladies. Yeah, you showed the book last week. Okay. Yeah, yeah, with the Santa thing on the cover. Right. Yeah. And she did a lot of um, ch childhood designs. Mm -hmm. and um, Nostalgia. And um, a lot of monochromatic, like, uh, what do you call that? Um, kind of sampler. Band sampler? Band sampler is what I was looking for. And she also did a lot of Native American design. Yes. Which I appreciate. I have her hardcover book of John Elliott, Native American um, uh, Indian women and different uh, things like that. Okay. So I would put this in that category. Yes. And um, I've seen this stitched. It's absolutely breathtaking with all the long stitches mm. to form the feathers. So, Follow your dreams, for they are the hope of the future. Right. Look at those feathers. I oh. mean, I, you know, I was a teenager, I think, when dream catchers were kind of popular. Everybody made them and hung them in their windows, and this, that, and the other. So, why, why would you shame above your bed to catch your dreams? I, you got me, Steph. <laughs> I, you've just... Yep. Every time. I just outsmart you every time. Yep. So, Rhonda, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Rhonda. And, uh, thank, I thank you, I should have shown Rhonda. this a long time ago, and I apologize, but we, we've we been so sick for over a month now. And then we went to New Mexico. And then we went to New Mexico we and just, all that kind of stuff. We've just been crazy, okay? But, Rhonda, we appreciate you. But, I okay, guess that's, that... That's all your mail call. That's all my mail call. And then I have this lovely package. Okay, first of all, yeah, I've got to show this you this card. card. Look at that card. Isn't that So cute? this is a handmade card. Okay. Yep. Yep. Isn't she a beaut? She is a beaut. And then watch to open. So sick. So this is from a fan in New Brunswick, Canada. Love it. Love it. Who would like to remain anonymous. Yep. Uh, and but like this card is just incredible. With Peggy's Cove, man. Except that's Nova Scotia. Yeah. So get it right. Okay. Yeah. Wrong province. Seriously, we don't want the New Brunswick people to come yell at me. Okay. 
Or you. They would mail it to me because I got the province right. Uh, anyway, she said that she had some stash that she wanted to give to us, whether we use it as giveaway or we keep it or whatever. And she just wanted us to do with it what we wanted. Yep. And so, speaking of oh, a monochromatic Joan Elliott. You might seen one recently. She had included this in a package, which is called Perfect. A Year of Silhouettes. Perfect segue. By Joan Elliott. Yep. So, January, February, March. Love it. April, May, June. Look at this one. Yeah. July, October, November. J July, August, <laughs> September. Jeez, <I'm... laughs> July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah. So, this is pretty cool. So, you could do them all together or you could take out the little squares and Make do them little... individually. That would be cool. Can I say it up close again? You can do whatever you want, Pam. And then... Which, which one did you say? Look at this one. The one with the boat and the White House. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Cute. Obviously. So, this is on... It's on white fabric and it's done in... I don't know if it's white. Well, maybe antique white or something. I no, have... look. It's right here. Pictured on 28 count HPI. Tudor Rose Linen from Pole Stitches. Because John Elliott's British. Right. From the UK. As is Pole Stitches. As is Pole Stitches. Yeah. So it's a Tudor Rose. So it's got a little bit of a little rosy joint. hint to it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's lovely. And I'm trying to figure out why. If there was any difference. But anyway, so she gave us this. Mm -hmm. So this is very exciting. Very nice. And then a series that I had literally never seen. Right. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. So going to be keeping these. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, but this is from Little House Needleworks from 2011. Long time ago, folks. 12 years to be exact. Mm -hmm. And this is the... Um, okay. So I'll show them to you in order. So this is the a series of four monochromatic seasons. Oh, we're monochromatic all of a We are. Yes, yes, yes. So this is spring. Beautiful. Love it. I've never seen these. But not only did she send the chart, she also sent the Belle Soir. The Belle Soir to go with. To go with. So Little House Near Works and Classic Color Works, it's all in the family there. So, um... Yeah. So a lot of times they do collaborations between Belle the two. Belle is color and cotton. Nope. Belle is classic color. I mean, classic color works silk. Yes. Belle yes. is. Yes. So, classic color works silk. We got spring with the green Belle silk in weathered vine. Oh, I love it. I love these. And then the second one is spring. Wait a minute. That's summer. summer. Sorry. The first, one was, the first one was spring. The second one's summer. And the silk is called Ocean Tide. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Then the third one is Autumn. Mm -hmm. So cute. Mm -hmm. And then the silk is called Cinnamon Stick. Love it. So good. And then the fourth one is, you guessed it, Winter. <laughs> you know your seasons. You knew this was going. And then this is Vanilla Pudding. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Yeah. So, pretty. so like, that's so generous. So, thank you so much. You know who you are. Oh, absolutely. Um, so, thank you so much. And then, we got our monthly package from Pine Needles. Yep. And we are in the um, Life is Just a Bowl of Cross Stitch Club. And so, we got our May package. So... We have plenty of time to stitch it for me if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like. So cute. Little blue birds. We yep. love it. So, minus the bowl, which is here, which we already have, the bowl. Yep. You get everything that's pictured here. Mm -hmm. So, I kind of wanted to do, real quick, a little unboxing so you can see it. Yep. So, it comes in a clear container. Mm-hmm. So, the extra decorations, the rose, and then this postcard, you get, look at this, like, felt rose. Felt rose. Ooh, that's so pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's soft, too. I love it. Mm -hmm. 
And then a little vintage postcard. Adorable. So cute. Then you, of course, get the chart, which is here. Mm -hmm. And you get the chart for... Um, for both items, which is this pillow here and then this little needle roll there. You get an, all of the, you get the finishing fabric. Okay, so for the small pillow, finishing fabric and the trim. Mm -hmm. And then for the, and the end, the fabric. That's for the one with a larger rose on it. See, this one has a yeah, larger rose yeah, and a the pillow. Yeah, yeah, little pillow thing. And the Ada to stitch it on. Mm -hmm. Then for the needle roll, you get the ribbon mm -hmm. for the finishing. Two pieces of ribbon. Or it's one long piece that you cut into two See, to tie the ends. Here's the ribbon on either end of the roll. Yep. Yep. And then you get this. And it's all... So this is... All solid Ada, for you. And you stitch it, and then you just finish it, and there's instructions and everything. Mm -hmm. And you roll it up and finish it, and then you Beautiful. tie off the edges. Yeah. And the fact that they do that for you is just so nice, I feel. I mean, it's done, man. Yes. So, mm -hmm. the only thing is I am not an Ada stitcher, which is fine. I mean, you don't have to be an Ada stitcher to get this club, obviously. Um, so, um, but for something small like this, maybe I would. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, I could. Easily. Well, Pam, we know you can do anything. Okay. <laughs> so, just want to show you guys a little they bit. They such a lovely little... And then you, you know, just put them right in the bowl like that. Every yeah, month. Every month. How freaking cute is that? It's absolutely adorable. We just... We love it so much. Yep. So, huge thank you, obviously, to Pine Needles yep. for the kit. And so, so all you have to add... A club. It is a and, great and club. for for eight of, eight of stitches especially. Yes. Not only eight of stitches, but eight of stitches especially. Yeah. What a treat! I and mean, I man, you've got your you've got your bowl, your deco, all done for all the month. All done. And I do believe, I do believe it's sixteen Canada. Oh, I do believe that makes it equivalent to thirty-two. Of course. Correct. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. So that is all of the milk haul. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So that means it's time for haul. Yeah. And um, you want me to start? Yeah. Okay. So I belong to the um, uh, a little help from our friend Stitching Circle that is um, from Silver the Needle. Silver Needle. And this month it was a lovely um, kit from Cottage Garden Samplings. Mm -hmm. And it is called Peacock Pin Cushion. Oh, I love it so much. It's very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. And it's always a surprise what you get. I think so, it's gorgeous. And it comes with all the, looks like some chenille and some thread and mm -hmm. one of those uh, line uh, Highlighter guide. Highlighter guide things in there. So I that's kind of nice. And some jelly beans. Yes. All very nice. Yes. Um, this is a, a market pick of mine that, uh, because it came from Italy, um, just arrived at keep, Keepsakes. Mm -hmm. And it is called, it's from Madame Chantilly, and it is called Fourth of July in a Jar. If you can see, that is a jar. And all the elements I love. The poppies, of course. Yes, obviously. So, Steph brought that home for me. It was on my market list. Yes. Um, I got a few things off the secondary market. Um, <clears throat> I had seen our friend Mary Lou Benoit from New Hampshire. I hey, Mary Lou. Um, post her finish of this on Instagram. And it's from Sam Sarah. And it's called Red, White, and Blue. It's not new. I'm going to say, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the Sam Sarah's not designing anymore. No, 2004. And um, this actually came from the cross stitch cupboard, all you Florida people. Um, I love it. And um, it looks like that. Um, 
I have got to get in touch with Mary Lou because her picture on Instagram looked like she might have done some color conversion. It looked a little brighter. Than well, Mary Lou, we're coming for you, Mary Lou. So look out. But I got look out. I got that from um, somebody who saw me uh, post it on a unicorn list. Love and it. she sent it to me. Okay. Then um, I saw this on eBay, and it's an old Bent Creek. Um, let me find a picture of it when it's completed. Mm -hmm. It's called Snapper Bets, and it came in different parts. So I have all these parts, but it's an alphabetical uh, design that Bent Creek was famous for back in the day. Mm -hmm. I still like them. I think they're fun. Mm -hmm. And it kind of looks like that. Snapper bets. And remember, they were um, they were famous for some of their designs where you sewed on the snaps. It's so cute. So I've got plant. all the parts and all the buttons and all the snaps. It's so cute. Off of eBay. Cool. So there's that. I'm going to put them all... Hmm. I'm going to put them all inside this one... Put all together so you don't misplace them. You know. <laughs> what? That is my look. Well, misplace. <laughs> okay, and then this, you know me and Sam Sarah. Yeah. All about it. So I showed Santa's closet, was it? It was. Santa's closet yep. back a while ago, I think. Um, 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 um. Mama Mia. It was several charts put together. Oh, no. That was a cinnamon one. Oh, no. I'll be fine. Fire, fire yep. in the mouth? Fire in the hole. Yep. <laughs> Served you right. Here, my nose got her. Okay. So, this was kind of the companion piece, if you will. And it was listed on one of the stash unloading sites. And my good friend, Amy Sprinklestein, um, <laughs> she said that she thought, what's that um, shop on the... Jersey Shore, um, you know, you're yelling at me. Anyway, I think it's really Amy's l and I can't okay. think of it. Yep. Anyway, she said that she'd been down there recently. She thought she saw this. Salty um, yarns. Salty yarns, I think. I think. <clears throat> I think. And so um, <clears throat> I went back and forth with Amy uh, asking for her advice about whether this was a good price for this. So it's Witch's Pantry. And um, it comes in uh, six different charts, and each chart has its own set of Sam Sarah buttons. Mm -hmm. Not, Not Jabco. Jabco. <laughs> All together now. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh oh. That was good, family. Plus a cinnamon jelly bean in your mouth. No, and then I tried to put another one in there to subset the cinnamon, and it was coconut. Oh! We're having a rough time over here, okay? <laughs> Anyway, so this is um, one of the parts. It's called um, Two Ravens. So that's what's kind of at the top of this witch's pantry. Mm -hmm. And then another shelf is called Eye of Newt. I just love these. I think these are super fun. I love the colors. And this one is called Tooth of Wolf. I think this one's butter popcorn. And she gives you explicit directions on how to make that spider. There's like a button, and you yes, you like the, sew it on. And yeah, you wrap the thread so cool. around the button to make it look like a spider. I, I think uh -huh. that's so cool. cool. This one's called Toa Frog. Oh, look at the snake in a jar. I love it. I love it. And then Toil and Trouble is one mm -hmm. of the doors down the side, and um, it says, "What did we decide that was?" Wicked potions. P. Potions. Wicked potions. That's right. <laughs> potions starts with P. Potions, 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 potions. So that's with one P. of the doors. If you remember the Santa's closet, there were two doors. So this is the pantry doors. Mm -hmm. And this is Root of Hemlock. Mm -hmm. And a little kitty cat down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I think this is super fun. It's stitched on um, Peoria Purple. Peoria Purple from Weeks Dye Works. From Weeks. I tend to not like Weeks fabric. So I would find another purple that would. Be but just, is it on thirty count? count? Um, I think so. But thirty to thirty-two count 
would not be that different. Okay. I don't believe. I don't believe. Okay. So I picked that up off of one of the stash unloading sites after Amy said, grab it, that's a good price. Mm -hmm. So aggressive. Okay, and then I saw on one of the Facebook groups um, this design and yeah, that one. it was from um, Cooler Designs and Donna. And it's actually, you can buy the PDF. You can get the PDF or off the Cooler Designs. Oh. But for just a few bucks more, you can get the book and have more for Did, your money. Does Cooler Designs sell the book? No, an Amazon okay, okay. secondary seller. Okay. So this is what the design looks like. And I think this is super cute. It is very cute. Super, super cute. With the little... Design in the middle, and then the claws is on either side. Can we grab? Can you do it? Yep, sure can. Yeah. Look at the raggedy Andy, raggedy uh -huh. Andy. Super cute. And the, do you see the paint buckets over here? Because he's painting that Christmas tree. She's baking a freaking pie. <laughs> and then it says, "Yeah." Oh, you can put welcome the yeah, you, you can, can name. put our oh, name welcome I'm to the Schaffners. Ah, that's cute. Yeah, and then it says over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. See, look, he's painting this. Oh, I didn't notice that. There's a lot of detail to that. There are, but um, this is freaking cute. That's so I said, okay, I'm you know, so good. Um, hold on. Yep. Um, so that's why I got this book. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like this. Donna Coolers. Donna Coolers, 555. Cross their seven. There's a ton of these books out there. Yeah. And they're not that expensive. Yeah. And then when it came, we got paging through it, of course. Of course. As and one does. there was one other one that we sort of both liked. And it was called, is it called Simple Blessings? Yes. Yeah. It's another monochromatic. Do you sense a theme here? This is called Simple Blessings, 2008. Isn't, whoops, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, I know a lot of people um, think, oh, I'm getting rid of these old books. But let me tell you. There's some gems in there. There are people. some gems. Okay. And this is what the title of the book looks like. Donna Coors, 555 Cross Stitch Sampler Motifs. Yeah. So, I picked that up off of Amazon. I actually got it on Amazon. Okay. Thank so, you. anyway. Um, that's my haul. Okay. Then, we got the only haul that I have before we get to our New Mexico haul. Uh, is our Fabric of the Month from Color and Cotton. Yep. And, I never remember what it's called. See, I almost said Sandcastle. You know, I did. <laughs> anyway. So this is called Sandcastle. This is 40 count linen and Pam gets 32. Yep. So love it. Basically the same always, color. Always, always, always. Yes. Love color and cotton fabric. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to talk about Stitcher's Garden. Right. Which is located in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yep. Okay. And uh, so. We talked a lot about it at the beginning, so let me just... Oh, yeah. I think I already did. Did we up? Okay. The haul. Not a ton of haul, but that's okay. All right. Um, and, yeah. And then, after we talk about it, then we will um, do the shop tour video. Okay? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, Stitcher's, yeah, that's fine. So, Stitcher's Garden, and um, I will put all of their information, whether, like, their phone number, their, um, and their Facebook page. It does take a minute to find their Facebook page, so, because there's multiple Stitcher's Gardens, um, and they're not super active on social media, so, um, and I did talk to Lori a little bit about this, so... If you see something that we got in our haul or in the shop tour video, 
You guys know the drill by now is if you see something that you like in that video, a timestamp is the most helpful tool for us so we can go look at it and then we can tell you what it is. And then they do offer mail order. So if you don't live in Albuquerque and you want something that you saw on their on the shop tour video mailed to you, they are more than happy to do that. You just have to call them. They don't have an, an e-commerce platform. Right. Um, so a lot like keepsakes, which is cool. Yeah. Um, and, and maybe... Yeah. After the shop tour video, maybe that would be a good place, to put the easy pictures. place, to put the still photos yeah. that I took uh, of the models that uh, prompted me to buy the chart. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, we'll start off with a local designer, and I was hoping to um, pick something like this up as a souvenir, but her name is... Jenya Rose, J-E-N-Y-A, I hope I'm saying that right, mm -hmm. Jenya Rose, and she is in Albuquerque, Yep. and, um, or at least close to Albuquerque, um, she has an Instagram, at Jenya Rose, on um, Instagram, um, the finishing was done at the Stitcher's Garden, and these are ornaments Shaped like hot air balloons, if you don't know, Albuquerque is um, internationally famous for their balloon fiesta every fall. And so I picked up a couple of these. I think you got one too, didn't you? I did. I'll show that. Show okay. mine if you show yours. So this one is called Balloon Ornament Winter. And this one is called Balloon Ornament Halloween from Jenya Rose. I think this is super cute. Yes. And then from Jenya Rose, I got this one called I Love New Mexico. It's not balloon shaped, but it's got a balloon on it. Mm -hmm. And um, this is the symbol from their state flag. Right. And then these are the mountains. Right. That I love. Yep. Okay. I picked up this. There was not a model for this, but it is a Sam Sarah, and I've done um, one other one in the series. It's the Over the Hill series, and this one is called Bluebird. And yeah, I, you would do the American flag one. I did the one with the American flag on it. So uh -huh. Love that. Yeah, I love it so much. Picked that up. There was not a model for that, but I just like that yeah. series. This one was um, finished as a shelf setter if you will mm -hmm. like a brick shaped yep. um just totally darling and it's from hindsight and it's called um stars and stripes charmed really finishes up cute super and you get cute. the charm of course yes this one um was is actually a shepherd's bush and the picture does not do it justice yeah um they did not have it framed by Jill Rensel but the way that it is in the picture, you'll notice. Yeah. Um, it, it just, it really pops, man, that pumpkin. It's so gorgeous. It's called um, Pumpkin Harvest. Pumpkin from Harvest. Shep Shepherd's Bush. And then the little pillow, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the big version is on 20 count, and the baby one is done on 30 count. Oh, okay. See. Well, the model you'll see is the larger version. Yeah, yeah, which is really cool. Yeah. And this one is from, uh, something tells me she's... Um, uh, from New Mexico as well. Nope, she's not. Wait a minute. Let me see. Um, TG... Wisconsin. No, no, no. That's Wichita. Oh, that's Wichita. Um, TGDcharts.com. I don't know if that's a still active website. Turquoise Graphics and Designs. And it's called Ornamental Pumpkin, and this picture does not do it justice. And I have a picture of the model that Steph will insert at the end. Yeah. And, um... No. That is an old TGD charts.com. Yeah. This is from over over 10 years ago. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, but Lori actually gave me the cheat sheet of all of the <laughs> color conversions mm -hmm. that she did when she stitched this yeah and she slipped it into the uh page protector for me yeah so you'll see how cool, cool. how cool different it is. looks yeah it's it's really striking 
Um, and then stuff that I got when you first walk into the shop, there was like a little display and they had uh, six of these in this series in the notes series from Shepherd's Bush. They had six of them and they were all like together and they all look so cute. And this was the one that I did not have. This is love notes from Shepherd's Bush. It was finished so cute. Got the buttons too. So love that. Then this is, um, again, all of mine are because of models. Yeah. Um, so this was from the Prairie Schooler. This is the 2009 limited edition Prairie Schooler Santa called Must Be Santa. And I love it so much. It's super cute. I just love, really love the reindeer on the roof. Mm -hmm. I think he's mm -hmm. cute. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this is from Plum Street Samplers. This is called Blessings Abound. Again, model. Yep. Then this one, and this was a find for real because Sisters and Best Friends is not published anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and they had a, a beautiful, beautiful model of it. Um, and this is called Holly Jolly Christmas. <laughs> and you get all the things. Yeah. So part of Sisters and Best Friends was Amy Brecken. Right. So um, that's why you have the stuff here So that says AB on it. So isn't that so cute? It is. I think that was real popular when that first came out. I'm sure it was. And the fabric is from the Crossed Wing Collection. Mm -hmm. So very cool. And then I cannot believe we did not have this in our collection, but this is a Prairie Schooler ooh, cardstock. And it is book number 135 called Good St. Nick. And they actually, what sold me was this model. Hmm. And the words say, down through the chimney, Good St. Nick. There you go. Cute. And I just love it. Mm -hmm. You know, I do. Yep. So, mm -hmm. um... So that is all of our haul from Stitcher's Garden. Yeah. Um, so at this point, we'll insert the video and pictures um, that um, we took from the shop. the shop. Enjoy. So we hope that you enjoy this tour of Stitcher's Garden in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hello, people. Uh, welcome to beautiful Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, they have a cross stitch shop here. Um, we are here visiting my brother and sister in law, as I'm sure we probably said a thousand times by now. But um, they, my brother had a thing this morning or this afternoon, and so we decided we were going to stop at the cross stitch shop. And of course, we can't come here without showing you all the beauty that is here. It's an adorable shop. So it is called Stitcher's Garden. So let's go inside and take a look around.
All right. Uh, next on the list is um, the winner of the giveaway. Yes, 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 yes. So um, last week we gave, we were giving away with thanks to Cottage Garden Threads, um, the floss bundle for Hearts for Pam. And so I took a um, video of me pulling a winner. Um, I did that live and recorded myself doing that. And so we will insert the video of me pulling a winner here. here. Hello, friends. Uh, we are here for the giveaway portion of the program. And this week, we are giving away the Hearts for Pam Floss Pack from Cottage Garden Threads in Australia. So, we asked you all to enter using the word heart in your comment. So, we use a YouTube random comment picker website to pick winners. Yep, so that's what we usually do. Um, I went to the regular site that we usually use, and they have now changed their policy. So, if you wanted, if I want to filter by keyword, which is what we do, we have to pay for that feature. So, we're going to use a different website. It looks to be like I can do the same thing I did before. So, we're going to try it together and see how this goes. It's going to be very exciting. Okay, so the YouTube random comment picker, and then that is the URL for a video. Hopefully you can see me in this video. All right. And then keyword filter. And the keyword here is heart. Okay. Continue. And then it's going to see how many comments we had. Oh. 243 comments. Okay. Now let's pick a winner. This box says pick a winner. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, that was fast. Okay, and the winner, in, I thought it was going to go through them a little bit more, but okay. All right, Lorraine Bergstrom. Citrus sure do have a big heart, and you two are the epitome of that. Oh, Lorraine. I hope you feel completely better soon. Thank you for sharing another wonderful video. Congratulations, Lorraine. You have won the floss pack from Cottage Garden Threads. And so how this works is I'm going to give you your... Um, uh, send an email to us, to Pam, with your contact information, um, like your, your the email address you would prefer us to use, because we're going to give your info to Cottage Garden Threads, so they can send you the threads directly. I'm pretty confident that's how that's going to work. So, congratulations, Lorraine. Thanks for entering the giveaway, and thank you to all of you who have entered the giveaway as well, and... A huge thank you to Cottage Garden Threads for the prize. So I will send you back to regularly scheduled programming now. Bye. Okay. So congratulations, Lorraine. Yeah. So I feel like at the end of that, I was like a little scatterbrained about what you're supposed to do, Lorraine. So it's my understanding that we need your email address so we can contact Cottage Garden and we can give them your email address right. and then they will reach out to you and get your mailing address right. so they can mail you your winnings. That's right. So that's great. And wow, what an outpouring of compassion and yes. love for Pam at Cottage Garden Threads. Yes, absolutely. Just, just amazing. Which is fantastic. Yep. So. And Lorraine Bergstrom, uh, that name sounds very It familiar. does sound She's very She's very fun. active in the community, I yes. feel. If you like that. Structure. Yeah, so very appropriate. Okay. All right. And um, per usual, but not oh, expected. Pam. What? We didn't do our sound effects. Oh, okay. So before we move forward. Well, we're going to stop right here. Right here. And we the sound missed effect. a sound effect. It was the addition of the other sound effect that messed me all up. Yeah. Ready? Add, Add to cart. cart. Okay. Okay. Now, now roll, moving forward. Roll the beautiful bean footage. That's Go. right. Um, it we, was because we did the shop tour. Oh, okay. That's what messed us that up. That screwed us up. So, okay. continue with your, right. with your coffee. Um, <laughs> continue with your coffee. Uh, we appreciate everybody, and we will strive as far as we can to keep ads off this channel. And as an alternative, we have provided uh, two links to support our floss tube adventures. One is Buy Me a Coffee, the other is Ko-Fi. You can either use one or the other or neither or, or both. both. 
<laughs> makes no difference to me. Correct. Um, we use those funds for framing, finishing, and postage expenses, mm -hmm. and we feel that the revenue is rolled back into content of our episodes. Yes. So, since our last video, we have had uh, six lovely ladies. Oh, um, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what you just said. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, give us a little um, uh, funds yeah. for um, doing just that, and we sincerely appreciate it. Um, so, a special thank you. Are you, you. going to do the first three? Yeah. Okay, then I'll do the second three. That would make six. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Cause math. Yes. Thank you, Susan, very much. Thank you, Christy, very much. And thank you, Jerry, very, very much. Jana, thank you so much, Jana, Lori, thank you, Lori, and Janine. Thank you, Janine. So, um, if you are so inclined, um, that is where you can help us continue with um, making floss tubes and being an active part of this community. Yeah. Okay, what does this stand for? Two things I want to talk about. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I will let you... Continue. Okay, so for as for plans, we have a couple of two things that I want to talk about. Oh, I know what it is. Number one is that the deadline to pre order your copy and supplies for the keepsakes exclusive chart designed by Heart and Hand, the Any Town, Tiny Town, that deadline is quickly approaching. Okay? So the deadline is set at midnight Eastern between Saturday and Sunday. Eastern time. That's literally what I just said. <laughs> uh, the dates for that, just in case you're wondering, is Saturday the 15th and Sunday the 16th. So that midnight Eastern in between those two days. That's when it's... <laughs> when? In between those two days. Okay. Is done. when you cannot order it anymore, okay? And I'm just going to say this, people, all you last minute procrastinators, okay? There's no like, oh, but, 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 no. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Once the window closes, the window is closed. <laughs> okay. So. So, there you go. You've been warned. Yes. So, uh, and if you haven't watched us, uh, if you don't watch this video right away, you've missed it. Well, let's hope not. So, so, um, and what I'm talking about is that our local needle workshop keepsakes, also my employer, um, is celebrating their 25th anniversary this year. And we have had a collection of exclusive designs that have been released for us and for the celebration for this year. And, um, the third one is from Cecilia and it is ex only available through keepsakes. Through the Keepsakes online website. Right. Okay? So that is the only place that you go to pre-order the thing. Okay? So you can get the chart, the threads, the fabric, the pin set. Do all of it. Just put it all in your cart. Okay? And then it will be shipped to you mid-July. Mid-July. Yes. Okay? And you can add anything else to your cart that you want. All of our other exclusives are up there too. Just know that everything will ship together in July. Okay, so we're very excited. It's a bit insane, the amount of folks who have ordered it so far. So very exciting as the shipping department. Don't let FOMO get to you. Exactly. Okay, so the chart will be readily available, but not until market of 2024. Yeah. Or early 2024. Right. So don't be the only one who forgot to order it. That's right. So, go get, get yourself. Get right on it. Okay? Get right on it. Okay. And then, uh, some StitchCon related news. StitchCon is less than two months away. Ah! That is very exciting. Okay. So, a couple things. Number one, the deadline to guarantee, if you have to cancel, okay, if something comes up, life happens, all the things, you're like, I'm double booked, I'm triple booked, I can't come, da 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 Whatever happens, life is happening. And you have to cancel. The deadline to guarantee that you get your money back for a cancellation is May 7th. Okay? Coming right up. Yes. So, if you cancel between 
May 7th, or after May 7th, mm -hmm. if we can fill your spot, then you'll get your money back. But only if we can fill your spot. Okay? So, if you want to get your $200 back, because you can't come, mm -hmm. let us know before the 7th of May. Yeah. And you can send an email to the StitchCon email. That is listed in the description box below. You can call keepsakes, whatever you need to do. We obviously hope that everyone that's registered is going to be able to come. Yeah, but we realize things that, happen. that life happens, right? So there's that. With that in mind, if you are still on the wait list, don't lose hope. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, literally me. sending invoices, like at least one invoice a day, mm -hmm. if not more. Yeah. Usually more. Yeah. Okay. So. If Stitchcon is something that you would like to make happen and you're on the wait list still, there's a chance that you might still get in, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Last year, we made it pretty much through the whole wait list before the event. So, uh, and if you want to inquire as to where you are on the wait list, you are more than welcome to do that. Yeah. Again, just shoot us an email at the Stitchcon email address, which is listed in the box below, and we can figure that out for you. Yeah. Okay. Then, last thing, Stitchcon, two things, sorry, two more Stitchcon things. Uh, one is that I am working on updating and creating the list of attending floss tubers at StitchCon in 2023. Okay. The, that list will be like a typed list will be posted to the StitchCon Facebook page, which is for paid attendees only. Then also I will have a like clickable list on the StitchCon website. Okay. It is a general list. It does not specify yes. which weekend a particular floss tuber is attending. Correct. We leave that to the floss tubers to inform yes. their viewers. Yes. So if we had if we specified who was coming to what weekend, we would have to it specify would be who is. absolute madness. And to be fair, we'd have to um specify what weekend all of our attendees are coming to. And we don't do that. We're not going to try. So to floss tubers are are in the same as any other attendee. Yes, it's a it's a privacy thing. Yeah, and if it, they want to share, go ahead. It, it's up to them. It's up yeah. to their discretion if they yes. want to say what weekend they're coming. Absolutely. So the list that will be on the Stitch Card website is a comprehensive list. So the whole entire thing. So, um, again, not specified per weekend. Um, so look for that in hopefully the next few days. I'm hoping to get it done sooner rather than later. Um. And then we are currently in the middle of our latest StitchCon Spiritwear sale. Um, this is the second of three Spiritwear sales we are going to have. Uh, there is a link to the shop both on the StitchCon Facebook page and also there is a link on the StitchCon website. There's a Spiritwear tab at the top of the StitchCon website. Click on that and there's a big red box that says, buy your Spiritwear here. Click on that. In the past, we've had people who... Can't come to StitchCon, but they'd like a shirt. Yeah, exactly. So, and so it is open to attendees and non-attendees as well. Absolutely. So um, if you want to get your hands on some spareware, there are a couple new items that were different from the first sale that we had. Um, I, I ordered spareware from the first sale. I'm going to be ordering spareware from the second. So um, because of supply chain issues and availability issues and da-da-da-da-da, right. sometimes the list of things that are available changes. And so, these... Uh, mm -hmm. items shipped to your home. They do. Before you come to Cincinnati. Yes, they do. So, uh, so there you go. Wow. Okay. We are losing light fast. Yes, as you we can are. See from the shadows. Yes. So, so let's uh, go. Plus I'm starving. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we're starving. Yeah. So uh, we may not live. Um, oh yeah. We're so, throwing away to nothing over here. <laughs> I've had four jelly beans All right, today. So we're going to be, you know, we're going to be back on Sunday. Uh huh. So um, we hope to see you then. And we want you to, um, uh, uh, enjoy your stitching. Yeah. And enjoy um, this video. Hope all your stitching plans go well. And according um, to plan. And according to plan. Because <laughs> we hope that the, you know, we hope they all go according to plan. That's right. All right. So that's going to do it. Yep. Until Sunday, the next time we see you, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. stitching. Bye. Bye.